friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a case of adherent leukemia and in this case i want to cut the fibrous tissue band joining the iris and the scarred cornea this is an incision at the limbus for introduction of an ac maintainer anterior chamber maintainer i am going to use a 23 gauze cutter in this case we can also use a 23 gauze vitreous scissor to cut the fibrous tissue band joining the iris and the cornea the pupil is picked towards 3 o'clock and the pupil is disfigured so for cosmetic reasons we are doing this surgery the anterior chamber maintainer has been applied and now an incision is going to be made at 9 o'clock the anterior chamber maintainer has been placed at 6 o'clock this is the incision at Nine o'clock, and now I am going to introduce a twenty-three gauze cutter. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatly, and here goes the twenty-three gauze cutter. There is no tissue band here. The tissue band is at between three o'clock and four o'clock. so we're going to see that in a moment here it is this is the tissue band or iris joining the scarred area and here it gets released the iris has fallen back if this happens there is not only some cosmetic reasons probably there is some disturbance in drainage of aqueous humor through the trabecular meshwork so this is an worthwhile surgery to do and now as i remove the anterior chamber maintainer i find that the anterior chamber has become very shallow so to keep the anterior chamber formed i have applied an air bubble i have injected an air bubble in the anterior chamber and now there is some chemosis making some punctures in the conjunctiva so that this fluid gets drained easily and very fast and now i'm trying to hydrate the port that has been used for anterior chamber maintainer and after hydrating uh this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now i'm going to see if the anterior chamber It remains formed or do i need a suture here i try to form the anterior chamber with the simco cannula the 9 o'clock incision is a triplanar incision and i'm sure this will be a self sealing wound but the anterior chamber maintainer is stressed the wound and there is some fish mouthing and it's not getting closed by hydration so i am applying this suture and this is just a releasable suture it is going to be uh here for about 3 to 4 days and after that i'll just pull it out so this is a releasable suture one two three three loops 
pull this switcher pull it and cut the long thread with the needle keep the other thread longer like this in children this is a very useful surgery in outpatient department with a loop we can just hold the longer thread and pull it out but if it is a permanent knot with buried knot what happens is we have to put the child again under general anesthesia and this is a little bit of high femur it is being removed and here it is i am going to try to form the entry chamber again and i find that the entry chamber is again becoming shallow but i'm sure that the entry chamber will be formed so i am trying to form the entry chamber with this irrigating proof first clean the site and here it is i find that there is no leakage yes the entry chamber is on the higher side and the surgery is done this patient did very well i do not have post op pictures but patient did very well after surgery uh thank you very much for your attention hope this video will guide you in releasing fibrous tissue bands joining iris and scarred cornea